Ladies and gentlemen, it's the first episode of Wolfpack TV. I want to let y'all know I got the real sick girls in the building. They ain't going to want to say what they do on camera, but just know. Mm-hmm, Rose, you a little sicko too. We see you munching every time somebody ain't looking. And then we got Big B, young legend right here in the making. No, he running for the cat. And then we got the rookie right here. He's been doing very good his first year. You know what I'm saying? Young Tyler Hero out here. You know what I'm saying? I want to let you know you've been doing a very good job, all right? Appreciate that. The odds have been in your favor, oh, and that's the way life is always gonna be. Sure. As long as you remember, be as long as you be a good guy. Okay, you go put the brand on this El Mundo. My world. All right, that's what El Mundo mean. Yeah. My world. No, it means the world. But uh, okay, world. yeah, you motherfucker. I thought you knew Spanish. Yeah, you know, we got the bucks in the hallway, man. Come on, B. Y'all see my room? Shit, sick. Look at my shit. Your wallet over there too. Thank you. I need that. What's going on, big guy? Got that Black History Month collection shirt on. Got the pick to pick out your beard. Let's hit it. Chill, 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 chill. Yeah, that's what got you in trouble already. Rest in peace, Kobe and Gigi, man. And Crook. Man. My motherfucking nigga, dog. That one hurt. Come on, Isaac. That one hurt me. It's big double up ventures going on. You see the neighbors, they got their shit going on. Y'all see our garbage. Y'all see the pool. Okay. So why is it too bright right now? What's going on with the brightness? Did it get foggy? Oh, the camera fogged up. What? That's crazy. I thought I was fucking up. <laughs> We're at 80 degrees right now. June's gonna be like 100, 90. It's time to pull out them thongs. <laughs> you got some thongs put up? Sure. I got a couple. Okay. Brady boss with okay. the thongs. Mine, mine are a leopard though. Oh, where my iPad? <laughs> Nigga got iPad problems. You don't got really? iPad for it probably though. Shout out to Double Up Ventures for the shirt, man. <laughs> and then the suck, the sick ass thing about it was, just think, yesterday I drove to work with myself. Watch out, watch out, watch out, Pop. You see that? You oh, see? Ooh. Did not see that. What? We need cameras all around the whip, well, y'all. One pack TV. Going we got it on camera, Pop. Uh, what are you talking about? You was not, you was, you was looking at your watch over here, too. Like, Whoa, B. Uh, bro, I'm telling B is you, getting real in here, B. I ain't gonna lie. I'm I'm literally buy, literally me going going miles an hour, buy me a car. Buy me a car and wire it up with cameras. You almost took out the brand new kid, bro. Don't look at the camera, look at the road, bro. You almost took out the. Yes, you did. And y'all gonna continue to let me drive. Yeah, we need to stop. All right, we'll stop. Yeah, Houston Post Office stole the motherfucking PS5 I shipped out. PS4 I shipped out. No way. Swear to God, bro. Same shit. It got to the fulfillment center. Never open. left there. Never left there, bro. Wait, the PS4 you saw? The one you saw on eBay? Yeah. The one that you had sitting under the thing, right? Under the... Yes, bro. That's sick. How the fuck did they figure out that was in there? They just opened the box, bro. Because it was a Home Depot box. That's sick. Okay, Isaac. I got a new one for us. What? My guy put me on. We looking for these. What's that? Chlorine tablets. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. They retail at 24. He's selling them for 85 online. Need that shit. <laughs> Ooh -wee! I meant to bring a pool to the shop. Temple. So you still finna get the spot at Trader's Village? Probably not this week, because I ain't sure what I'm gonna do this weekend. And I'm really trying to get my ducks in the road. Maybe <laughs> next weekend. I probably go to trade this footage just so we can't get the application and shit. I just gotta get my ducks in the room, I ain't gonna lie. All the shoes is on. Let's get them on the, on the wall. Price tag. Right. I've been price tagging for them. I've been price tagging. See why you, see why you like them, Pop? Yeah. Some of them does. Boss. Uh, what are you doing? Who are you talking to? You're just sitting right here looking for Follow my uh, vintage page, Double O Vintage. Make sure y'all get it cracking. Man, you showing inventory, but you wearing all the shirts. No, 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 this is my brand, Pop. 
We finna have trusted court right now, ladies and gentlemen. Trusted court. I need to know who bought these. Oh, oh, Everybody oh, oh, oh. report to the front. <laughs> Isaac. That's a good story right there. Who bought those? I know who bought them. Isaac. Nah, that was not me. Definitely Isaac. But I know exactly who did it though. Okay, now we gotta do something creative with these. We gotta like cut them up Jerry or something. No, nah, we don't gotta cut them up. They still good shoes. Give them away. Just post them for free. Wanna post them on the club for free? Look, it got a heart on it. What was Jordan thinking? Michael Jordan ain't wear them. Okay. Uh, 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 yesterday, uh, uh, I was just making sure they weren't positive. 40. Appreciate you. Appreciate that, bro. Come see us. Oh, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a trusty kick. I grabbed these two pairs right here for $20 a pop. 40 bucks for both of these. Isaac, right, what you think? 16. What you think on the red ones? We already got a red one up there, size 10. This pair ain't got no inside. Uh, Putting this one in the club, this one I want. 20 bucks and the 60 bucks. Trust the way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today is Friday, uh, April 30th, 2021. I want to let you know that this is, will be the first time that I will be recording my trip in New York. That's a lot of big things coming up. May 8th, Cleveland, Ship to Cleveland event, the first one ever. I will be there. I want to go ahead and go around the city and check out a bunch of sneaker shops and other smaller hype shops, as well as the event that we got Dallas Sneaker Con. In between those events, I will be going to different cities, checking out different sneaker stores and different resale boutiques. By resale boutiques, I mean today on this video, you'll see one I found here in Soho, New York, called Second Street. When we go there, they got a lot of stuff reasonable, used, and pre-owned, and new, which is what I kind of like, my, my stilo. And what I kind of want to do with these vlogs is give somebody a point of reference on where to go if you in the city of New York. Flight Club, they run it. Stadium Goods, they run it. You already know my boys around too. Kill it. I want to give the smaller shops a chance. Laced up. I'll stop by there. I also will do the bigger shops. I actually will throw, show you guys a bunch of spots in Brooklyn I think nobody knows about. No real buy, sell, and trade, but strictly sneaker stores. Other than that, comment below what you guys think should be happening. Update it. Watch the video. Let me know what you think. If you know any other stores in the upcoming cities that I'm going to, drop them in the comments below. I definitely will stop by those shops and give you guys some reviews if they do trades, if they buy shoes. I just need you guys full, full, full attention on what I can do better. I know right now I have no microphone hooked up to this camera, but shout out to Cold Visions and Deco. I got a camera. We're going to start here. I'm going to try to make it better and better. I know with everything opening back up, as long as stores and sneaker conventions, it's going to be the time to kind of give you guys what you want. And I think a lot of YouTubers are giving you guys the conventions. No one's giving you the hidden gems in the city. So what I want to do is focus on the hidden hype beast spots. And also, you know, just maybe a Goodwill here that I like, a thrift store here that I like. Right now, I'm about to go to Bodega, give me a nice sandwich to eat. If you guys got any, any, any suggestions, I'll take them. Um, today, just a moment. Rest in peace to my boy Crook. Today is his funeral. I think it's another reason I like to record stuff like this because I'll never forget it. Um, Crook was our homie. He worked at the shop. He lived at the trusted ranch. He was the man. He was one of the nicest and selfless people I know. Um, just to caveat on this, guys, leave those pills alone. Um, I'm not saying that's what happened to my boy Crook. I'm just saying drugs are meant to be drugs, meaning they're not good for you. He watching up in heaven, let me know to go all the shops, which is why I started this video today. Other than that, rest in peace, Crook. And I'm going to get out here in these New York streets. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Trust the Rico. Oh, let's get me headed down to the bodega to get me a nice ass motherfucking sandwich. Crazy thing is, I'm used to live in Nashville. I love Waffle House. But here, every bodega is a Waffle House. Three bodegas on the block, everybody making breakfast and sandwiches all day. So, I'm gonna go on down here, give y'all a view. Um, just an update, lately, I've been listening to Little Yachty Michigan Boat Boy. That mug is banger. I've been into Detroit music a lot lately. Shout out to Yachty, I'm digging it. But other than that, I'm making moves. Let me see if I can get a clean transition. Okay, there, that was clean. So 
Salt and pepper, yeah. Salt and pepper, bro. What's the damage, my brother? Eight dollars. There we go. Appreciate you. Dude, fuck it. Back in little boat. I want to let you guys know that what I do when I come to cities that have a round two, what that mean is LA, New York, Miami, they all have a round two location. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my phone. It's 819 right now. I'm going to pull out my phone, go to round two New York, and see what shoes they put out for tomorrow's lift. What that means is they kind of do what we do in our Houston location, where they put out shoes for the night before that you can get for a steal, or maybe if you line up, you know for sure they'll have. So what I'm going to do is go to their Instagram and show y'all some shoes that I'm looking at, and y'all let me know. See, they got those out in the morning for sale. CDGs, 280 in the morning. Hyper Royals, 425. Celtics, McGavin, excuse me, Metallic Greens. Paint Drips. So, what I, oh, Push Heads with the box. 550, that's a good one. Okay, so what you want to do is you go to Round 2's Instagram and you see what they got posted for sale in the morning. That's going to influence you to get up early, go down to Round 2. I would start my morning there if I was in New York. Meaning, if you start there in Soho, you'll take the subway like I am, you'll get off downtown, you'll go straight to Round 2, wait in line, be the first 10 to 15 people in, get the deals, and also get to see what's left over from yesterday. What I'll do is I'll work my way from Round 2 to the other shops in Soho, and then I'll end my day at Round 2. Only because they get a lot of new inventory which circulates every day. Since you're going to be in New York, turn on your post notification. Meaning, go to Instagram. Every time that round two posts a picture, you'll get a notification. Just in case they have any steals you want, everything is in store only, so you can just pull up. Gives you a chance while you're in the city. Right now, I'm in Brooklyn. It's 820. I got my sandwiches uh, cooking up and eat my food. Get on the subway, head to round two to make sure I'm there by 930 when they open at 10. Alright, y'all. Taking the J train all the way over to round two. So, got an update, ladies and gentlemen. I see round two, New York did not put out no list last night. So, it's no line. I was going to talk to people to see if they was going to buy it, see what they was waiting on, see where they was from, stuff like that. But no line. So, right now, I'm just walking around. So, probably what I'll do is go catch the second street place. I give a video in there when I go in there. Bought a bunch of shoes there yesterday for cheap. I'm hoping when I go there today, I catch the same thing. Shout out to my boy Brody on the brand. I got that on today with the black and white gun. This is another morning in New York City. Round. Going with the route two. Shout out to the homies at round two. I was in there chilling for a minute. Really good guys. I see the X might stop recording earlier. I ain't know if they was upset at him or what. He was kind of sketched, so I just went ahead and turned the camera on. But I'm outside. This shop called District One, which is right across the street. It says that they buy, sell, and trade on their window. They got a pretty dope ass display. It ain't open yet, but I'm gonna go in here and check it out for y'all. Honestly, I never heard of District One, but I know it's New York, so it's a million dope spots around here. So what I'll do is I'll drop their IG below. So I've been around two so far. I'm at District One now. Got a lace start. I don't know why I think everything opens at 10 out here in New York. Everything really opens at 11. But um, after this, I'll probably shoot on over the stadium goods and then lay stuck and then maybe flight club if I got enough time. The good thing about this New York vlog is it'll be ongoing because I'm always in New York. This will just be like part one. I run down some stores. Other times when I come, I'll be in different boroughs. What I'm learning is every different borough has its own sneaker. Um, what's called a culture or set up in stores. So right now I'm just in Soho hitting the stores around here. Appreciate the homies at round two. Got the Tope Forest for 280. Definitely take them back to the store and sell those at 400. And then we got District One. We'll go ahead and check out and see what the homies about. Got a homie in front of me. He in line. Got on a cool ass outfit. Boss man, what's the name of the dunks you got on? Um, my dunks. They fire as fuck, bro. I never seen them before. Are they a newer release or older release? New. No, okay. This first collab with Carpet. Okay, Carpet's a store. Yeah. Okay, I ain't know that. In Baltimore, okay. About to do a deal with the um, homies over here in the district. Yeah. Gotcha. I actually uh, got a store in Houston, Texas, so we sell a lot of that after we're merch, yeah. I'll definitely give you the IG, let you check it out. We're in Houston? In Houston, yeah. Yeah, I'll go to Houston next month, so I'll check it For out. For real, hell yeah, bro. I'm gonna give you the Instagram, come yeah, yeah. check us out, I'm gonna give it to you right now. Go 
ahead and pick up the Kobo Dunks for only 200 bucks. They brand new. We sell them in store for like 350 sometimes. So I'm gonna take that. Shout out to the homies here at District One for the deal. It took me a little minute to get the deal done, only because I'm calling an Uber for Isaac to go sell a pool for him. If I'm working, while I'm working. Another pickup. First, the toe pay for is over at round two. And now I'm over here at District One. Shout out to the homies. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got Trust Rico here. I got Isaac with me. We up here at Traders Village. We gonna see what we can grab. I figured I'd record it, cause I recorded some stuff out in New York and I'm gonna get a footage over to Nico. He gonna go ahead and get that right for me. But like I said, I'm a rookie at this. So y'all comment below, let us know what we can add better to the deals. Um, we out here now just trying to grab some cheaper shoes. Some regular Air Max, some Air Force Ones, some cheaper basketball shoes. We always bring our trusty, hefty Ikea bag, which will help us hold shoes. All right, right now we're at Traders Village. So it's a flea market that happens every Sunday in Texas. Hey, so I took out for the homie. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first stop, Johnny's pop-up shop. I've been here before with the homie Angel. We're gonna go ahead and pick up two bait bags for the homies. They got them priced at 70 a piece. I'm not gonna haggle that price. They always show love. I came here once before, they had great prices. So I said, I'll stop here first because we're on a little time restraint. But shout out to the boys over at Johnny's pop-up. And they got Apple Pay, which is a rare thing here at Traders Village. So always bring cash. If you don't, you got Apple Pay a card, come over to Johnny's. They definitely are accepting it. Yeah, they got some cool shit in here. Though. Figure all the guys. And the bitches work. Uh, address the kick right next door. Are you here? Yep. Oh, cool. That's fine. All right, all right. Appreciate you, bro. Have a good one. Appreciate you. All right, what we grabbed for the homies at Johnny's was these bait magazines. They go for just about this one line, but I know today when we put them in store, they will sell. This one right here is the crossbody, as you see right here. Everybody loves these bags. We really sell them right around like 240. Since I got it for so cheap today, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in store at the even 200. Good profit for us. Good profit right here. And we sell the magazine for 20. I knew Johnny was out here. I seen this before when I came with Angel. I just didn't prop capitalize and buy them all. Neither did I this time. I seen he has something left for the actual duffel bag. I'm gonna let that one sit there. If this duffel bag sells fast, I'll come back next week and buy the rest of them. Just trust the kitchen. Resell his life, though. Get up early, get to those villages. Excuse me, get to those flea markets. It's money out here, trust me. At the flea market with the fragments on. I ain't gonna lie, I, I do want 20 just on off white. Probably just leave them alone. I'll take the off white though. 170. It's 20 over your house. I'll do 160. Give me a 170. Come on. 165. It's in the middle. Everybody win. I came down. You wanna? I wanna get a homie a shout out right now because he's doing what me and Isaac been doing. He's selling pools. He's in a Discord group. Discord groups are very important if you're trying to hit link up with people who resell. I'm in a Discord group, he is in one too. He put me on and he's been selling them very well here. And he got the card, and my man got the shoes, and he got the clothes. So he pretty much got everything you need, you know? It's always good to bring cash with this stuff. If you run into a fellow reseller, all resellers should have Zelle, Cash App, Apple Pay of some form nowadays. But normally, the sellers out here are very non, um, let's say they're not very big into technology, so they need cash. So I'm keeping my cash, and I'm gonna pay the homie in Zelle. That's the good thing about linking up with people that's like-minded, you know? All right, ladies and gentlemen, Trusted Rico here with the quick Traders Village pickup recap. We picked up Oreo 5. I got this in a deal for 165 with the off-white. So I got this shoe. If you ask me, I'm valuing it. Probably paid like right around 35 bucks for it. Priced it right at 100 bucks in stores. It's size four and a half. It's OG all. Also, we picked up off-whites. Boom. Paid like 135 for these. Size four. Women. Sell them at 300 bucks. Picked up a wide assortment of 
Kobe shirts. These will be in store at 20 a piece. Picked up some good sizes, 2XLs, 3XLs, some bigger sizes, extra larges, some mediums. Those will do really well in store. As you see, I'm sweating, working hard out here in the Texas heat. The homie over at Johnny's. Let me pick up a couple of these right here. Um, the last one I actually picked up at 50 bucks. Shout out to Johnny. Um, the other ones we paid 60 a piece for. These go for 200 and trust the kicks. That's a bape a side duffel bag. Like Isaac said, a lot of girls use it for a diaper bag. It don't matter. We're gonna dump it, it's gonna sell real fast. It's camo side back, boom, pay 60 for it. Another 200 out of the pop, nice side pack. And I think that's it, we got a bunch of shirts, we got the shoes. We didn't do too much damage out here. I say we spent on 50, 60s, 110. 110 plus 120 is 230, plus another uh, 80 with the lady. Let's call it 310, another 165. We came out here and spent 475 in total. 475 bucks, I say estimated profit. Um, those two a piece, that's eight, 300, that's 1100. All the shirts are 20, that's 160. That's a 1260. Yeah, that's about 1260. We're gonna make total minus a 475. We got from that let's say 480 so like 600 600 somewhere like that 650 a good profit morning and only less than an hour here at trader's village we'll throw this stuff in the car head on down to the shop get everything posted up other than that's just rico on the sunday <laughs> 12 to 6 is a sunday you see how we hustle on the slow day supposed to be our break that my boy ice dog